Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about a multi demo or a electronic store WooCommerce theme name as Attack Market. Okay, so with the help of this uh, theme you will be able to create some really good looking amazing uh, e-commerce store, right? Because this theme consists of more than 7 different shop demos, 8 different home page style and 2 landing page as well. So with the help of this theme you will be able to create any kind of website out there if you are having a offline presence of your store you can bring it on online with super easy steps okay so let's move towards i will show you what is uh, the demo content they, these people provide you there are a lot of demo content uh, on their official website as it is loading if i scroll down you will get to know that there are a lot of demo content which has been provided by the author by default okay as you can see there are a lot of demo content this uh, organic market green market glass market you can literally install any of these on your uh, particular domain so i will tell you how you can uh, get this file install it on your domain and set up the whole thing okay so as you can see uh, first of all you need to download this file purchase this file either you go from uh, purchase it from here from the official website or just uh, buy it from any of the gpl website or whatever you want to feel like first uh, first step is to get this file on your system for, uh, then if you have the file and you get it managed somehow to get it on your system then the next step is to moving towards your wordpress website install it on your domain hosting and everything is set it up as you can see a new fresh website is installed on my domain now we are going to install that particular theme on our domain so to log into your dashboard you just need to type wp admin just after your url and it will be redirected to your dashboard so if you don't uh, log in if you guys are logging in for the first time uh, it will ask you for the username and password which you have put while you were uh, I mean to say while you were installing WordPress on your uh, cPanel right so once you are logged in you, you will see this kind of interface in front of you this is basically backend of a website or I should say dashboard so with the help of this section you will be able to edit everything throughout the website uh, with it provide us a lot of menu uh, categorization as you can see on the left hand side you will see a lot of menus like settings with the help of setting section you can go and change general settings writing se uh, setting uh, reading setting or if you want to change the structure of the url you can just go and change the permalink settings and that's it about it and if you go to the tool section you will see uh, import tool export tool you can literally check the si uh, health of your site there are a lot of tools right and you go to the user section you will be able to see all users you can create user delete user if you want uh, you to have uh, multiple admins on the website you can already uh, always have uh, two or more admins or if you want a uh, multiple author you can create user and assign them different role okay and uh, the plugin section with the help of plugin it will extend some kind of functionality on your website so basically plugin helps to increase some extra functionality on your website so if you want to add some uh, functionality like slider on your website you can always add a new plugin okay under the appearance hood you will find theme how you can customize the theme widget how you can create the menus so today we are going to deal with the appearance section and we will try to add our theme click on themes <coughs> and here you can see i have already uploaded the theme but i will tell you how you can also upload the theme on your website and activate it you just need to click on add new and and you can see there are a lot of uh, themes which has been by default provided by wordpress okay so what are the basic difference between free theme and paid theme generally free theme are not flexible and when it comes to designing their designs are not also very customizable there are a lot of limitation if you want to design some kind of footer uh, according to your need that won't be possible because those are not that much a uh, designable uh, theme okay and when it comes to money prospective the conversion rate of free theme are pretty low compared to the premium theme so i generally prefer you people that if you have a little bit of budget to invest in the initial stage of your business always go for a good theme okay so once you have a theme uploaded uh, downloaded on your system you just need to upload it here select the file here is the file i will install it so basically uh, this will upload the file then you have to activate the file it's pretty simple you can do it on your own i have already uploaded the file to save the time and as you can see it has been already uploaded i just need to activate it super simple okay as you can see theme has been activated in couple of seconds 
now you will see some notification like this so basically this is telling you to install some kind of certain plugins but what are those certain plugins what we will get after installing those certain plugins okay let me explain it basically these are the recommended theme which has been suggested by your theme uh, only to install this particular plugin so that if there is any kind of functionality present on your website then that particular functionality will be linked from from a certain plugin let me explain it like this if you have a slider on your website and if the slider plugin is missing from your particular theme file then that slider won't work properly okay hope you get my point so whenever a theme suggests you or tells you to install some kind of plugins never ignore those messages always install all the plugins which has been suggested by your theme hope you get my point okay so i will click on activate installed plugin i have already installed this plugin i just need to activate them a uh, process is pretty simple uh, if you are if you are going for the installation process first of all you need to select the bulk action and click on install and apply simple enough and the next step will be uh, to install everything right and i have already active it installed i just need to activate i generally prefer you to people uh, to come to this section plugin install and activate it click on activate and it will take like couple of second no need to worry about that because it's it will take some time okay so once it is done then we will move next step to install the demo content as you can see everything uh, has been done and the whole website has been imported successfully let me check the website how it is looking right now as you can see there is nothing much of a fancy no footer no header and sidebar uh, ugly okay so let's install a demo content on our website coming back to the dashboard if you want to install the demo content you just need to hover to appearance and import demo data click here and now you will see there are multiple demo website which has been provided by the theme itself so today we are going to install one of these and let's see how it comes out so i'll go with this one click on import yes import and it will take couple of seconds or minute just go grab your coffee and it will become as you can see demo content has been installed completely on our website okay let's see how our website looks right now if i'm visiting the website i'm pretty sure everything has been installed perfectly on our website let me check uh, it's still loading because there are a lot of elements on our website that has to be loaded up and if i'm not wrong everything has been perfectly uh, imported uh, rather than this slider uh, if i'm not sure this slider will you you can also install this slider manually right you will get it in the documentation file section okay and apart from that everything has been imported successfully if i'm not wrong if the whole website is loaded up perfectly then you will get to know what i'm talking about as you can see the website is loaded up perfectly and everything is organized in a well category manner if i click any of this product you will see the product page and if i'm not wrong the product page is also designed perfectly uh, if i add to this cart and then it will redirect you us through the uh, checkout page we have the cart we are moving towards the cart and uh, let's see okay you need to set up the cart page then you will be able to accept the order okay i hope you really get a rough idea because this is also mobile optimized which is a really great thing right and as it has a lot of content and it is not easy to manage i would suggest you to go for a good hosting like a2 hosting or something like that i will show you this in the mobile view if i'm not wrong as you can see everything is optimized in a well category manner right i don't know it's like stuck in my laptop but hope you get my point so if you want to get a e-commerce store up and running i would suggest you go for this thing so just before wrapping this video up i want to say that if you really like this video just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one